last night when we played we went for a little trek all around we went through this area over here to check what the mountain area looked like it was okay i gotta say like it's nice to have the mountain nearby but there wasn't any silver there that was kind of disappointing we ran all the way down here we made ourselves a bed which we need to by the way switch over because that's currently our spawn point and then we rafted all the way down here and and went back into our mountains and that was that that was that uh, it didn't really like help in any way that we couldn't really go for any silver here because our inventory was full we couldn't anyway bring it back through the portal so yeah like we, we back here now I'm considering this time around, I'm considering going back down here, getting some silver here, because there is more silver, like like a lot more silver, and and I'm also thinking we should maybe just take the boat with us and get the silver and then just sail straight back like up here or something and then run across, I don't know, I don't know. It's like we're going to have to take the boat and the cart so we can put the boat in the cart and take the cart across the land, because like if I go from here with a cart across, it's kind of close, you know? It's kind of close. Anyway, so that's, that's like my plan. But the silver, I think, is a secondary right now. The, the primary is probably to grab a boat and head out, just sail out, and potentially find a swamp that we can get some, some uh, iron from. My map is always such a weird ant's nest. I, I kind of like, that's like one of my complaints about the game, right? It, it's like, I, I honestly think that it would have been cool if your exploration radius was much larger so it didn't end up being such a weird ant's nest so you could explore bigger sections by moving around like these thin little stripes it's no fun it's no fun or like i said before they need to give you like a crystal ball or let you build like a tower it's like hey build a scouting tower here then it reveals a large portion around that would be sick that would be so cool m82 hey good evening i hope you're doing well yo it's nice to see you hope you're having a good weekend so far I'm here to look what it costs to upgrade my pickaxe. 20 iron. We need a lot of iron. Okay, that's the plan. I'm going to empty my inventory out right now. I'm going to hopefully... I'm, I'm thinking of maybe just planting some, some acorns quickly. Maybe? 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 Yo, the stream will need a narrator overlay. Do I want to know why? I, I do want to know why, Silver. Lay it on me. And you know, it's actually kind of hilarious that you mentioned a narrator overlay. Uh, I've actually been working on something. It's it's not finished yet. I'm trying to. What? Well, I'm I'm you know I'm not working on it so much as I'm conceptualizing an idea, uh, and it does involve literally something called the narrator overlay. <laughs> narrator, there will be no locks riding. <laughs> there will be, maybe. I mean, you know, shit. Okay, that's fair enough. That is fair enough. I'm gonna try. I want to make a grove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exa that's literally exactly it. I want to make like a section of the base with a bunch of trees. And I'm thinking it's gonna be right there next to the house. I, I actually want to surround the house with trees. And I want to have a section over here where I have a few trees that are sort of like... Why am I 720p tonight? I'm not. It's Twitch then. Like I am... Yeah, I'm 1080. I don't know why it would be 720. I don't know. Uh, give it a moment. Maybe it'll sort of, you know, pump pump it up. Maybe it'll pump it up. I don't know. If it, in a half an hour's time, is not fixed, I'll just reconnect quickly and hopefully they'll fix it. Uh, yo! You got a job again? M82, congrats, man. Dude, in this day and age, that is, like, the mightiest of accomplishments. Like, I'm telling you right now. It's rough and tumble out there, dude. It's wild and whirly. Congratulations. Well done. Good work. Yo. This is a good spot right here. But, like, I, I don't know if I'm going to be... Maybe I need to flatten a few pieces. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to do it now. If I do that now, I will get distracted and never get the other stuff done. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten it into tiers. I'll have a tier, have a tree on there, have another tier, have a tree on there. Uh, and so on and so forth, and, and we'll sort of bring it all together with some stone paths. And I think that's going to be great. I honestly think that's going to work really well. Uh, but it is one of those things that will require just a little bit of iteration. Over time, probably. We're going we're gonna to fry up some lox meat, I think. Also making bread tonight, dudes. Making bread. Big deal. This is a big deal. Take some honey with. I'll take some cloudberries with. 
And I got the sossos. That's perfect. We got enough. Uh, there's bronze nails. We can leave. The resin we can leave. Feathers we can leave. You see an unfinished stone wall? Cast your gaze to a different location. Do not focus on the incomplete. Instead, focus on a vision of the future. From the Book of Lumen. Get arrows? I will, I will. I just saw that I don't have enough. I'm just waiting for this. What we doing? How are we making the arrows? Maybe it's time for some poison arrows? I don't have enough of those. Yeah, it's time for some poison. Yeah, dude, like, listen, uh, age might be a factor in some situations, but uh, for the most part, it's not a thing. You get a job, you got a job, it's impressive, well done. You busy, you busy, that's it. Okay, I, I actually just don't, was that? I do have a few. Okay, I can make some arrows, I'm not gonna have a lot. Unfortunately, it seems like we are going to have to go hunting for arrow materials soon. Uh, but we are going to the mountain soon, so... There you go. I can make a few arrows, but like it's just not going to be a huge amount. I will make needle arrows. I can literally just make those. Maybe I'll just make some regular wood ones and we'll take that for now and we'll be happy with it. I don't know, man. Oh, I can put this in here. I don't have any obsidian. I'm, I like it's the one material that I thought to myself, "Wow, oh, what does frost arrow cost to make?" All of it is obsidian. Shit, man. Okay. They're just really bad. Like the 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 needle arrows are just so much better. Like they are so much better. I'll make some regular ones. We'll use the regular arrows alongside the shitty ones. That's fine. That's enough for now. And I'll, I'll keep the feathers uh, close at hand, because we're going to need them. I'll put them right here, and those guys. And then I'll take this little bit of wood with. I, I don't think I'm going to take... Honestly, I don't think I'm going to take a portal kit with today. I will take the swamp key with, because that's what we're going to be using. And if we're going to be going on the boat, I'm actually going to deploy the ship right here. And, and like, that makes, to me, a lot of sense. <clears throat> this will be that. Uh, we need the, the bark... How much was it? Shit. Did I really go and split the boat in like a bunch of different uh, chests? I think it's over here. Oh no. Do I really not have enough deer hides? I spent all my deer hides on my bed now. I don't have enough for the boat. We need fine wood and, f and deer bark. Uh, deer hides. We'll get some deer hides quickly. It's fine. We'll get some deer hides quickly. Unless I have some lying around here. You guys reckon I have some deer hides? I can put five of these away. This is a bigger schlep than I thought it would be. Huh. Deer hides. Well, I'm gonna need the key, yes. I, I remember, don't worry. I remember our little conversation about that. I, you know what? I'm just gonna take the rugs. There you go. Boom. I'm not gonna go hunt some damn deers right now. That's not happening. Alright, do we have enough? It's just a fine wood now. We should have fine wood. I think I have some line up here. I have a fine wood pellet. There we go. Okay, we got the boat. We're gonna actually sail out. I think that sailing out right now makes honestly the most sense because... There we got enough. If you think about it, the, um, the idea would probably be to find a new swamp. Not, not use the old ones. Oh my god. The cart is full. We have to make a new cart. 
The card is full. The card is full. What does the card cost? Just bronze nails. I can just bring bronze nails, 10, and then the wood is, is negligible. It's nothing. Here we go. That's sick. Like, this is just great. Do I bring a portal kit? I don't, I don't know. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Look, we're not working in portals now. Oh, oh, but for repairs, I need a portal kit. Jesus. Like, this is like... Is this how adventures go in this game? Great Dwarf Eye, Circling Core, Fine Wood. Is this how adve adventures go? You have to, like, bring this, bring that, bring the other... Where are the, where are the circling cores? I have like a hundred circling cores. Where did I put them? Are they... Here somewhere? This does not bode well. The fact that I've lost the circling cores. I think they might be in this chest. There we go. And then the fine wood for the portal is 20, right? Was it 20? And then 10 Great Wolf Eyes. I'm now, I'm now like almost full. I have emptied the swamps that I found, yeah. Well, of, of crypts, yes. And let me tell you right now from personal experience, it's not worth going into a swamp and trying to dig up the scrap iron in the ground. It's just not worth it. And like, as this is right now, I could land over here, but I can see over there, that's where the swamp ends. So like, I, I think if I just go around this way and start looking on this side or up here, I'll just find a swamp much closer to home, you know? I'm, I'm basically full. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Oh. Uh, you know what? I can, I can take a shortcut, though. I can take a shortcut. So, what I can do is... I can take the portal... Firstly, I can sleep. And then I can take the portal from here to our old swamp. And, and then I can, yeah, yeah, this is good, this is good, this is good. So we're gonna go to Far Swamp. Sleep in my new bed. Yes, yes, I forgot, I forgot. Let's do it. My spawn point's still set somewhere else. Wow, it's looking kind of lavish in here. I should use other icons. The reason I haven't been using all the icons or different icons is actually because I don't understand what they are. I should make icons for portals. I get that, yes. 10 comfort, that's what I'm talking about right there. I should make icons for portals, but I use the dots for regular stuff. Like, what is that? It's a house? What is this? What is that? And then, like, the dot, and then that's a portal, right? Or is that a, a Vex Vizier or whatever? Vex Severe or Vegas Vegasaurus? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They can be whatever you want. No, I mean, yes, but like, no, what? They, they're pictures. They're clearly something. I don't know what they are, but like, they're something. I guess. You, I mean, you're right. Like, you're right, Sam. You're right, you're right. They can, can be whatever I want, but like, still. They're obviously something. But yeah, I will try and vary things a little bit. Like my my mark my map marking and shit has not been like perfect recently. Uh, I was considering maybe going up this mountain here. Maybe I should. It's kind of close. We can stop off for some silver. I'll do that. I'll do that. So if this mountain's like really if it looks really tall, we'll go up here quickly right now, get some silver, then we'll carry on to the swamp because we can just park the boat like anywhere right here, and it's like it's super close. <clears throat> However, I'm gonna have to leave a bunch of stuff in the boat. I just can't see now how high the mountain is here. Okay, it's clearing up. It's clearing up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be worth... Watch out for ocean monsters. I know. I know. I actually fought a sea serpent last night from a raft. I, I was considering using the motor power up. And I think I made a mistake not getting it now. And that reminds me, like, I'm going to make a mental note right now. I need to make a portal at the portal stones, at the at the stones over there. Not the portal stones, at the uh, shrine or whatever you call it. 
I need to make a I need to make a portal there. Because if I can go back and forth quickly, it'll make things much easier. Yeah, dude, I got lucky that I won. Like I I don't know, man. I don't know how I beat that guy on the raw. I didn't miss a single shot with my arrow. Uh and and that was just it was highly fortunate. Okay, wait, I should actually leave some stuff here, else I'm wasting my time. I'm going to take I'll leave the portal mats here. Boom, boom, boom. I'll take the cart mats with. That's good. That's good. I could leave the swamp key here, but I don't really need it right now. Dude, now that I'm looking out for birds the whole time, I'm never going to run out of arrows again. If I, if I just have the other mats. Like, I won't run out of feathers, at least. Okay, this is it. Perfect. Dude, the food is great. Like, the serpent meat is so good. The, the one thing, however, is that I'm saving that for when I fight bosses and stuff, I think. Or, or, or rather, when I do more important exploration and and, and, and combat and stuff. Like, for, for regular everyday use, I don't know, man. It seems a little lavish going for the serpent meat. But yeah, it, it's really good. It's really good. Okay, here we go. Need to find me some silver. There's drakes, that's a good sign. Mountain music starting. Oh, obsidian. There's obsidian here too. We should get some obsidian for the arrows. No! Okay. Obsidian doesn't weigh that much, does it? Oh shit, it does. Okay, we won't get too much obsidian. A little bit of obsidian. Nice thing about the obsidian is I can take it through the portal, so... Yeah, I have, I have lots of dragon eggs. Uh, both marked on the map. I've slain the dragon, so Motor is dead. Uh, I, and I, I have spare dra dragon eggs marked on the map, and I have one in my base already as well. So, like, I'm, I'm okay for dragon eggs. I don't need more of them. Uh, however, I do mark them if I if I see them, uh, just in case. You know, in case I, I want to do motor again for some reason, or in case I uh, feel the need to decorate with... I can't see. It's too bright. Decorate with them. Okay, this is enough. I'm going up now and I'm hopefully finding some silver. Or oh, 25. I mean, I guess it's not enough, but it's almost enough. Oh, yes, we got one. The motor trophy does look good, but like, I'm not the kind of person that'll display a bunch of them, you know? I'd have like a little, maybe a little area where I can put them or whatever. Uh, or, or you know what I could do? What I what I actually really like, I don't know if anyone's ever done this before, if this is like a new idea in any way, but what I would personally do is if I make a portal room and I wanna and I wanna mark portals, I would just mark the mountain portal with Motor's head. I'd mark the swamp portal uh, with um, the the bone mass one. I'd mark the meadow one with the ichthyr one. You know. What did I just hear? Skeletons? How am I not finding this? Oh, you have that but on a smaller scale. Mountain? Is a wolf and drake heads, planes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I get it. I get it. That's that's exactly it. That's actually kind of cool as well. That's actually maybe more clear.
No, oh, come on. I found it now. That's good. There's an egg here. I'm absolutely getting a move on. Yo. Here we are looking for silver. better not be it's gonna be some random bones isn't it Baiting me here. Yes. Oh my god, it's silver. If you got crushed by the boulder, you would have resubbed. Ah, oh, I wish I could make that happen for you, man. These these boulders cannot crush you. Unfortunately. Okay, so the idea here is going to be as follows. You're making a witch house with the bone mass trophy on the wall. That thing is creepy. It is indeed quite creepy. Agreed. This is the plan. Need some more wood quickly. Just gonna put a, a crafting table and a chest down. I hope he leaves me alone. They're fighting each other over there. And then I'll put the stone and the silver in here, and we'll be good to go. I can even put the obsidian in there. Use a cart, not a chest. No, no, I don't want the cart's too big. It sticks out too much. I, w I will make the cart soon. The boulders don't seem to be able to roll. It is kind of strange, yeah. But, like, the boulders are static. They're stuck. It's why I don't actually think even the game doesn't really allow you to put down boulders. You can't... You, the game doesn't allow you to put down a, 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 a boulder and, like, make... Like, for instance, that one over there. You can't put those down. You can't mess with that. You can plant trees, but you can't plant boulders. Yeah, you can raise the ground, but it's not the same thing. You know? Put the belt on, so this thing stops beeping at me. That's now what I call... A rude boy move. Like, where did this guy just come from? And now he's gonna fart around up here. Okay, I don't want him to bring the golem to me. Dude, th this pickaxe really doesn't last long enough. Yeah, my, my pickaxe is level 2. It's just, it's, it dies so quickly. Like, max level is 3, right? 
I'm gonna upgrade it now. That's why I'm here. So I'm getting some silver right now. Then I'm gonna go straight back down to the boat. Which is here, by the way. And then... Might be... Max might be four. Okay, and then we're gonna get some iron. So silver and iron tonight. You also might Sam, fully leveled up and last much longer. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh my god. I don't want to use the pickaxe here. I know everyone's like always saying pickaxe, pickaxe, pickaxe. Uh, if I use the pickaxe here right now, then I will, um, unfortunately, parry or die. No, no, I'll be fine. I will unfortunately have it expire long before I want it to expire. I don't want to do that, so we'll chill. Can he help me mine the silver? Hmm. Oh, oh, die by your hand. Oh, shit. Oh, God. You know, this is probably the hardest mob to parry in the game. Because his attacks are so weird. It says too hard when he hits it. Oh, okay. Let's not waste the good arrows on this. This doesn't even do any damage. Oh, sneak attack. Hell yes. I'm trying to parry. There's another one? No, screw it, dude. I don't want to fight you. I actually think I might have parried once or twice there. Who's to say? It might have been. Okay. Back to work. I, I have some obsidian already. I have 40 something. And I will get more. This is crazy. Why are there so many? They're not just spawning here right now, are they? fine he's barely being damaged only when the on the crit with a bow did he take proper damage and that skill deck did half or whatever Mm -mm. I'm, I, I brought the portal for that reason that I can take half the stuff back so I can go back get the rested buff in like a minute or two You know, I can repair my pickaxe, which I'm going to have to do and I I will also just make some obsidian arrows. Yeah You didn't know I had a green man gaming link. Yeah, I've got a little pop-up now that that mentions it periodically uh, I'm putting some more pop-ups there soon. I'm gonna make a discord pop-up. It's badly visible is it? I'll work on it. Would you? Honesty. Should I make uh, should I make the colors all the same and should I make the text bigger or or what should I do? I, I made it as a test. I just made it like last week. I, I, it's brand new, so. Oh, maybe it's too see-through. Yeah, maybe it's too see. I'll make the opacity a little like. 
less uh, opaque. No, the other way. See, a little less transparent. A little more opaque. Yeah, maybe maybe if it's not if it's not so uh, transparent, it will be easier to see. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yo, Peblas. Good evening. I hope you guys are having a good Saturday. So far, I'm gonna make this portal now. Oh, I left the portal down in the boat. Eh, that's fine. I'll actually take everything down to the boat then. I don't need this. I can take that. Uh, well, I mean, I don't specifically need this either. You know... What can I leave here to take with? I'll take half of this with. Oh my god. There you go. Uh, I should definitely take a screenshot of my stream and see what it looks like to viewers. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I didn't, I just made it. I just made it very, very briefly. I will, oh, it's my first iteration. Um, have Eileen look at it and tell me how rubbish it is. I don't know if she'll say it's rubbish, per se, but like, yeah, I will have a look at it. I'm taking obsidian, I'll make some arrows, it's fine. This is enough. But I don't think it's that bad. It's just a little bad. I, I agree that it's not ideal, so don't worry with that. <laughs> that thing reminds me of your cooking. Is that what you expect? Okay, maybe, maybe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I'm sliding down here. Peace out, guys. See you around. Can't. There you go. All right. But but yeah, it's it's good input saying that it's not readable. It's good input. Where are the new cooking videos? I don't know, man. If my parents bring me a new phone back from overseas, I will start recording vlogs on the phone, and then you'll get some other stuff with that. Um, I, I don't record stuff on my phone right now because I run out of space on the phone in like three seconds. Like it's literally 32 gigs. That's not enough space. I don't actually, we didn't, we didn't really have anything interesting for dinner. Uh, so we had uh, some chicken meatballs from, from Woolworths, which were like pre-made stuff uh, with, with like cheese inside. So cheesy chicken meatballs. Uh, they were quite nice. I, I say meatballs instead of like saying uh, uh, nuggets because they were more like a meatball and and how can a kid not like that well she's Lillian I don't know how she doesn't like that man like I honestly just couldn't tell you I don't understand she had a little bit of it it's not like she didn't like it at all it's not like it was like terrible she bit it open she uh, had a had a quick look and so on and so forth but like she didn't really consume it greatly and then we had some ribs from my parents bry yesterday as leftovers we had that uh we had like it was a mix of stuff she had some leftover chips from from dinner yesterday and then she had some vegetables along with it it was fine it was fine how is she getting her nutrients we we basically just tell her you know you know if you eat these vegetables right here you'll you'll get some dessert and then she gets fruit salad almost every night's fruit salad for dessert and the fruit is is good fruit we make sure she gets like berries usually blueberries and some strawberries and um in terms of like protein she gets really good proteins in you know she loves some healthy stuff like chickpeas she likes uh beans and chickpeas like legumes she she eats that, that, that she eats it like it's like it's candy you know she eats that shit like nothing um and and some protein she does eat as well she definitely eats proteins pasta Bre bread is easy Hummus, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know how she feels about hummus, to be honest. Uh, it's it's possible that she'd, that she'd have that. I mean, yeah, it's chickpeas, but, like, it's the more of a consistency and, and um, texture thing. Chickpeas are great, dude. It's, like, one of our greatest victories, I think, the fact that she's eating chickpeas. Good, good, good. Arbar, what up, man? Yeah, I'll definitely check the DMs. Yo. I I'm assuming it's about Final Fantasy, dude. 
If it's about Final Fantasy, I'll check it out, man. I'll speak to you. I logged into Final Fantasy today. Uh, I just wanted to have a quick look to see if the um, houses were going to be demolished. And I also wanted to clearly look at the Final Fantasy 15 uh, crossover event. Maybe she's getting lots of vegan propaganda at school and isn't telling me. Uh, no. So, uh, it's interestingly enough, we can actually look at their school menus. So, like, uh, the school offers meals, right? And we can obviously optionally put her on there. Uh, and, and like, they, they, they have a, a menu on the, on the app that they gave us on our phones. So, we can check what the, the other kids are having every day right but it's not really like it's nothing crazy vegetarian vegan nothing it's like fish and chips the one day then it's like a stew or something the other day then it's like uh, spaghetti bolognese the other day and it's like it's all these basic then there's probably a there's probably a um, mac and cheese in there too uh, and yeah like the, the meals and stuff they're pretty regular meals it's nothing really like crazy out there. It's nothing really vegan or anything like that. Um, so, so like I'm not, I'm not, I don't think that she gets anything bad there. But like at the same time, I think that the second we introduced her to the good stuff, she she shifted away from liking the this. Like she used to sit in front of the TV and eat a bowl of peas just like that. It's changed. It's changed over the years. No, no, vegans aren't usually popular here. It's still too expensive. I, I, I'm, I, I have huge respect for people who are able to make like these plant-based diets work. But I want to be honest with you. If someone tells you that they're completely vegan and they, and they only eat stuff that's vegan, either they are A, very unhealthy, not getting all the shit in that they need, or B, uh, well enough off that they can buy the really expensive stuff that is not hugely available yet or widely available yet. Um, and it's, it's one of the two and it's, it's just not, it's not as good and easy as, uh, as it should be here yet. Uh, which is un unfortunate, but yeah. one day. It's super difficult. Yeah, dude. No, exactly. Peblos, dude. That's, that's, okay. Firstly, I just want to address the fact that you just said you're vegetarian. Isn't, <laughs> listen, doesn't Deathcore love a good chop and a good old Budavors? Like how do I, I, I know that you can coexist. I get it. Uh, and I, I understand, but like, damn, that's, uh, you got, you guys have quite a contrast there, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I just I'm making assumptions here. I don't know. I don't know. Let's put some stuff away quickly. What do we have? He does. He's super respectful and considerate. Yeah. Two meals every night. Exactly, dude. Uh, but sometimes you actually get... You know, okay, so my parents are not vegetarian or vegan in any way. They're also not pescatarian or whatever it is when you uh, fish eater. Um, none of that stuff. But they've been trying to mix their diets up to include... Because uh, it's healthy. It's healthy. Uh, to have a day a day or two every week for fish. And then they have a day or two every week for, for mushrooms or... or um, like beans and stuff like that, you know, vegetarian and or vegan proteins. Uh, and then they have a day or two for meat. And, and it's, it's, it's working and it, it's nice for them and it's cool. And, um, and that kind of thing, honestly, it, it makes you realize that you can have a, a pretty complete and, and, and full experience eating, uh, regardless of, of whether you have meat or not. It's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's, it's like people don't, people don't realize always, but, um, uh, that was actually a sneak attack. Can you believe it? We don't eat meat every night. Sometimes myself and Helene, uh, like sometimes we have eggs. Sometimes we have um, uh, beans with Lillian. Sometimes we have uh, other stuff. Has Nero had a complete and full experience eating? Oh my god. Don't get me started on Nero's experience eating. That guy. That Nero guy, huh? Why are there so many people here at my base? So Nero, um, I have, in his old age, I've decided that I will treat him, treat him, every day. Uh, he gets, I, I have a tin of wet food, and he gets 
a um, he gets a, a couple of spoons of wet food with his pellets every day and he is incredibly happy with it incredibly happy he eats like a, a young dog reborn he is so 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 full of he's like wow you know he's he's like he's like whoa dude dad you spoil me so and he says it every night uh germany what up thanks for following how old is he he's 11. medium sized dog uh, medium to large sized dog 11. Okay. Oh, I should keep this with me. I don't know. I don't know how much I need, but I'll keep it with me. Okay, I'm done here. I'm going to get the rested buff quickly, and then we're going to piece back out and collect some more. I think my game might be bugged out for some reason. For the record, you still cook meat, and your cats eat a carnivorous diet. You're not opposed to handling it. It's a balancing act. God, well done. Well done. My mother is trying to go vegetarian. I just slept in the wrong bed, by the way, but it's fine. Um, I keep changing my spawn. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm not gonna do that again. I accidentally sleep in this bed the whole time. Uh, oh shit. Here we go. Hold on. I should just save my spawn point. Here we go. Uh, if I sit here, I'll get the 10 comfort. You used to eat way too much meat due to convenience. Pebas brings more veggies into your life. Eating spinach, mushroom, omelette for dinner currently. Oh, spinach and dude. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, Peblas, my address is actually, you can actually find it in the description of the channel. I'm sure Deathcore can show you where it is. But Nero, man, oh, that, he would love that. Um, he, man, yeah, he, I, like I said, in his old age, I thought that now with everything going the way it is, uh, and, and things are peaceful for him, and he's got a, a nice little balance here with the other two dogs, and a nice yard and everything, I just want him to have the complete package and just be happy. And uh, he's getting it now with his food. Uh, he eats a very expensive dog food that my mother is currently buying for her dogs. I give her some money every month and, and she shares the dog food with me. And it, it's fantastic for him because it's, it's very good for him. He like, it's good for his joints. It's good for his, it's good for his everything. And uh, he just feels better after, after having it. Uh, and, and now with a little bit of extra... Um, with a little bit of extra wet food in his in his meal every day, morning and night, he just he chomps it up. The brand is something field and forest. I honestly I don't know the name of I can't remember. Like it escapes me every time, uh, but it's called field and forest. It's like this this very no it's not Montego it's not Monte is it called field and forest Montego no it shouldn't no listen I'll give it for you next time I I stream. I don't, it's not Montego no. It's an expensive brand. I don't know. I think Montego is the cheap. Is Montego the expensive one? I don't know. My sister's dogs used to eat Montego. Okay, let's go. We're going through the portal again. Uh, it's 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 way more than I would be able to afford. But my mother now gets this for her dogs because she wants to spoil them too. So yeah. It's whatever. I'll tell you what the brand is next time I stream. I because I have the bag in here from time to time. And uh, there's a new bag that I have to actually throw into the dog bowls, uh, into the bins. It's it's, uh, it's outside in the garage. I'll go and fetch it, and I'll bring it here, and I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow. Or whenever I see you again. Oh, is it Montego then? The natural range? More expensive range in their products? Then it's quite possible. The only reason I, I like, immediately shut down the Montego thing is because... In they're like from personal experience they they have had like they have a cheaper range that's very affordable uh, and i just remember that not being the one but um yeah this new food is is great i've t i've sampled it and it, it tastes fantastic for a dog food uh, i looked at the ingredients and stuff they cut down on the unhealthy carbs i guess you could say and um it's it's good it's good it's good no way, you total weirdo. Dude, if I can't taste a pellet of my dog's food, why would I feed it to him every day of his life exclusively? No, come on, dude. Come on. You gotta have a little, you know, not so much trust, but like, you <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta at least understand what they're going through. What? I'm not grossed out by having a dog. Dude, I grew up on farms, okay? I've eaten way worse than a dog food pellet. God damn. <laughs> 
You know those big, um, you know those big, uh, like, what are they even called? Yo, you know those massive, um, things that the cows lick in the fields? Like those big black things? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Salt lick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, <laughs> I've, I've had, I've had my go at one of those too. I've had my, I've had my, I've had my, my try at that too. It's actually not bad. It's like molasses, basically. Payblast works for the competitor. Who's the competitor? Who's the competitor? I think you told me this before, but who's the competitor? I'd like to know. Because if you have advice for, like, what's a good food... Uh, I, I don't know if that's the one, by the way. I don't know if that's the one. I, I, I kid you not. It might be something different. It might not be field and forest. Oh, it is the origin one. Oh, oh okay. It's the one she mentioned before. Super ultra luxury natural brand. Well, we have a pet and pool warehouse nearby that have a little like veterinary section attached to them where they sell like the expensive food. They they have like they have like little they have like little um, bags of the food on little spinny displays with um, with with lights shining down. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's like you're going to buy a new car, but no, but no, um, it's. A <laughs> It's a bag of dog food. <laughs> I love it, dude. You guys are there? God. I'm gonna go and take a photo of your of your display there then. I'm gonna go and check it out. I'm gonna go and check it out. Okay. That's fantastic. I love to hear it, man. I love it. Dude, dude, we have dog food ads everywhere here. In Nizma specifically, dogs are at the top of the food chain. People are second. People are second. It's dogs and then everyone else. So like, you know that they that they have the adverts everywhere. They have all the proper food. They have everything here. Hey, Skeleton, what's up? As it should be, yes. Indeed, dude, indeed. Except for our neighbors. No, but that's why they got shut down so bad, dude. They fell in line. Listen, our neighbors fell in line. They built a fantastic yard for their dogs. They, they, they like, they, they you know, the dogs were in, a, in a, a cage the size of this room. They quadrupled that and they now share that yard with their dogs. Uh, they, the dogs are no longer crying when they're here and they, they just seem to be content. Did I ever explain why? Dude, my father, I did. He approached the lady next door and he told her, this is it. He told her, you need to make a choice. You have seen what the neighbors think of what's going on here. You have heard the whispers. This is it. He literally he confronted her in her driveway and he said, you either give the dogs up to the SPCA right now or you change your ways. And, and, and she said, okay, give me the weekend to think about it. He even offered money. He offered her money. He said to her, I will give you food to get you started on making things work with these dogs. He, he offered money. And evidently, whatever he said to her or, or, or however that, that whole interaction went, it worked out in everyone else's favor because they changed their ways. And the dogs are now being looked after. I mean, it doesn't make them better people. It doesn't. But it means that they are willing to change. Oh, dude, it's so much better looking over the fence and seeing happy dogs. Yeah, dude, my dad is wonderful. And hey, Skeleton, I hope life is good, man. I hope you're not too stressed out there. Dude, Nisner is, is, is so crazy with dogs. Like, they have, like, a hundred different places where you can go walk your dog. They have, like, all these fantastic dog parks and dog-friendly restaurants. Uh, the people here are just, like, 100% committed to their pets, and it's, it's awesome. On that note, we did have a run-in today with Nero, where one of the people down the road, uh, he, w he had three dogs on three different leashes walking down the road across the street from me. I was walking with Nero and Lillian, and he lost control of one of his dogs, and it bolted across the street, and it bit Nero on the lip. Uh, Nero obviously handled it like a champ. He is unable to really get angry and bite back. He doesn't even know how, even if he wanted to. <laughs> and... Um, 
he, uh, he, he, luckily, he, it was a Scotty that got free, okay, and not the 100 kilogram Rottweiler that he had. But while he was busy struggling with the massive Rottweiler and trying to keep it at bay, and uh, he, he, the Scotty got, got loose and ran across the street and started attacking Nero. And then I grabbed the, the, the Scotty by the collar and lifted him up, and then he stopped immediately. <laughs> oh my god. He, he, lost his, he lost his will to fight when his feet weren't on the ground anymore. That's actually a very good tip, by the way, for anyone that's uh, dealing with dogs. Is that a lot of dogs, they immediately just... They, they, it's not that they become disoriented or anything like that, but they, 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 they lose their fight. And they, and they lose that, that bluster if you, if you can lift them up. Uh, and it works with most dogs. Uh, obviously not something like a Staffy or a Rottweiler. You should be careful of that shit, but... Um, yeah, it, I'm just saying it works with the little ones and oftentimes if you can grab them by the collar they yeah Anyway Yeah But anyway, no, so that that happened today Nero has Nero has a little uh, uh, Scab on his lip now where he was bitten by that stupid little uh, Scotty and it's it's sad because these are actually friends. It's friends of my of my sister these people And I mean, you know, it's it's not like I don't hold it against the guy because like I, I actually have huge respect for the fact that he's actually out there walking his dog. You know that like that to me that garners a lot of respect, legit. He handled it well, and Lillian was right there as well. So it's like it's I, I don't like it. I don't like it when stuff like that happens. But you know, you gotta obviously be ready for it. <laughs> Yo, father's a good man. Too many people in the world just look the other way. Nah, dude. Yeah. And like my parents and their dogs and everything they um, and everything they've gone through and done with their dogs right now uh, would would mean that he would automatically be in the fight if it starts happening. <laughs> like uh, Bo, one of my parents' dogs, is uh, he was like rescued by my father on the on the farm that they lived on. Their neighbors had a um, had, had had imported four blue healers from Australia. And the one of them was apparently unruly and it kept running away. And then the, the, the neighbors, they just said, Oh, we don't want this dog, we're letting the laborers take it. So then the laborers of the neighbor took the dog and they mistreated it so badly. They had it tied up with barbed wire. It had like six different infections when my father found it. And then uh, the, the, the moment my father found it, he brought it home from these He just took it from the laborers. He said, I'm taking this dog. And uh, he, he brought it to their house. And then the moment he brought that dog home and, and they took it to the vet and got it fixed up, it never left again. Bo is here for good now. He has not left my father's side ever. And he's perfectly healthy now. He's got a very strange, like he's, he's, he's got a, a fantastic personality, but he's very strange because of everything he's gone through, I suppose. He's a weird guy. He's very smart, but, but quite sh like um, shy and, and uh, a little uh, withdrawn and stuff. Uh, but he's a really, really nice dog. And then um, he, he went to the, to the next door neighbor and he, and he obviously tuned the guy shit. Because, like, Jesus, man, why do you do that? You know, if you're importing dogs from Australia, that's like a massive amount of effort to get yourself a, uh, a pet. Why do you treat it like shit? He, anyway, fortunately they moved away and they never had to see that guy again. But people are cruel, yes. I should sing a song about having... Wait. Fist be ever ready for a knockdown blow to Nero. <laughs> what? Who's gonna knock Nero down? Nero, man... He's he's a he's a snippy boy. Like he he sometimes gets angry and stuff. Not not with me, like at other dogs and stuff. But like he doesn't fight. He's not a fighter. He can't. Like he, he'll he'll show his teeth and he'll go like, rah, 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 but he can't. He never actually closes them and clamps down on anything because he doesn't he doesn't know how. Man, he's never done that. Uh, anyway, let's put the stuff away here. I'm gonna go and find another silver vein. We're doing one more silver vein, then we're gonna leave. What weird things does he do? He's very insecure. So he ends up peeing on a lot of stuff. It usually happens when my parents leave. Uh, he is incredibly attached to my father. So he gives him a lot of, um, well, tongue lickery. Um, he very aggressively, very aggressively uh, runs up to people on Leisure Island where they walk and 
<laughs> it's the funniest thing because he like he darts he like shoots at them like a bullet from a gun it looks scary because he does this he does this weird um herd in run because he tries to herd and that's another thing i'll get to that in a moment he tries to herd but he does this weird herd in run where he runs really low to the ground and really fast right and then he and people think oh my god he's gonna attack us and then he arrives there and, and then he and then he just like he gives this little lick to the like people to the to the dogs or whatever and he like looks completely completely innocently arrives there he's like hey what's going on after he ran up there like mega aggressively um and then he also he tries to hurt people nero nero herds as well though with his eyes it's funny the dogs we have some weird dogs man like we have we have a dog full a house full of weird dogs Okay, I'm testing. Do you think this rock can kill me? I can't dig under. Nah. I can't. Okay. I'm getting silver. No, he doesn't pee on food. He pees on stuff. Usually our stuff. Lillian's stuff. Other people's stuff. It's painful. Unpleasant. Because we have to clean it. I'm getting silver, man. I got lots. I got 32 already, I think. But this, this pick of mine is just not lasting. It's not going the distance. Anyway, yeah, we have a lot to say about dogs here. Oh, yeah. My food. That's fine. It's not about that. It's the pickaxe. that I'm not playing properly with the upgrades and stuff I feel like I really should have had this pickaxe upgraded before like before I put beautiful iron bars on my house I should have upgraded my pickaxe just like I have a fantastic um, iron axe now I could not an iron axe black metal axe I could really do with a new pickaxe Well, there we go. Well, there it is. We have to go back down again. Oh, no. I mean, yeah. I mean, yes, no, yes, no. Okay, there we go. Dude, the amount of drakes I'm slaying here right now... Shit's crazy. I have another egg already, by the way. Silver said I must take the egg for boomer reasons. I have... I think I have two. But I, I really... I don't need... I don't need that many. Like, I'll tell you right now, like, personally, I feel like decorations that are big and gaudy and glowy... Uh, that shit's... It's too much for me. It's too much. It's not my style. I'm gonna go for more uh, like a, a downplayed, rugged, cozy, adventurous style. And I think it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be awesome. This is gonna be the last trip, by the way. One more trip. And then we have to find another swamp. I'm pretty sure we'll find one over here somewhere. I d no, I didn't say the last trip was the last trip. I have to go and repair one more time. It's not enough. This is not enough.
And this is gonna be the quickest repair ever. I'm just running in, boom, 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 out. Bum, bum, bum. I realize this is not doing much for my progress, but like... I haven't made... Dude, no. This is the thing. I'm going to get iron right now, so that I can make the oven. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. Here we go. Let's throw this meat in here somewhere. I got iron last stream? No, I got copper last stream. Silver is not iron? That is true. I got copper last stream. You are wet. True. Okay, here we go. Sleeping at night is great progress. I'm glad to hear it. Live, it is a nice cozy house, but it's not anywhere near done. Nowhere near done. However, my track record with, with stuff like this is not great. And I will say that if I can finish this, I will be very impressed. Because I never finished my house in, in Final Fantasy, yeah? Like, that's one thing... I'll tell you right now is I have a beautiful house in Final Fantasy that I never finished. I might have to revisit that game soon. If only to finish the house. We'll see. I must tell you guys. I was able to buy a house? Yeah, a while ago already. I've just been logging in every now and then to make sure I don't lose it. Uh... I must tell you right now, though, that after I jumped into Final Fantasy again recently, uh, man, the game's controls feel a little archaic. I, I, again, I don't know if it's just me. Like, it might just be me. Maybe I've just gone snooty. But, like, after playing even this for a little while and running around and having this weight behind your actions, uh, behind your movements and stuff, it, it, it just feels weird going back to Final Fantasy where the the game and the, and the movements are, like, it's super static and, and stiff. You know? <laughs> ah, shit! What was that? I didn't know I had such power in my legs. That was unexpected. Yeah, wait behind the movement. Holy shit, what was that? <laughs> Maybe stiff movement would have been better. <laughs> no! God damn, dude, what was that? Oh shit, luckily I died right there, okay. I need to get food though. Uh, if, I, if I run in there with no food buff, I will be dead, so. Oh, live, dude, live. Just, if someone can clip that for live quickly. Make it neat and tidy. Make it watchable for Liv, and you'll see Liv. I think it's time to celebrate with a muck shake. Serpent stew. Cloudberry. Here we go. Maybe Loki heard me. Oh, God damn, dude. Listen, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna file this one away under not my fault. Okay? That's it. Like, done. Done. This shit's not on me. That, that's just, that is not on me, man. It's not on me. It's on someone else. <laughs> there's the guy. Dude, there's the guy. He's coming for me. God damn, dude. This guy! Cocky little shit. Yeah, I'll cut you. Well, you wanna know what I did? I used middle mouse on the mountain. Don't don't use middle mouse on a downward slope on the mountain ever. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. 
It's gonna end. It's gonna end badly for you. That actually should have hit. Thank you. <laughs> Wait behind the movement. Exactly. Exactly. That's the name right there as well. You got the name right. Anyway, no, so I was I was deeply unsatisfied by Final Fantasy's movement and, and how it felt and I don't know man. I, I I will be honest again, like I think if I'm gonna jump back into an MMO and play an MMO, I am probably going to be having a really hard time getting into like the the combat and the feel of the game. I, I I'm gonna struggle. Like, 100%. I'm gonna struggle. It doesn't matter. Like, probably World of Warcraft's gonna feel the same. Probably, um, Final Fantasy, uh, whatever I end up trying to play. Uh, Guild Wars might, maybe Guild Wars is okay. I don't know. But, like, you know, uh, after playing games like this, where, where you have this Souls-like combat and movement and stuff, I, I just feel like the MMOs can't really compete anymore, you know? It's just that you get to a point where, where when you're playing locally, no lag, no delay, no nothing, and, and it feels so good to fight and move around quickly and stuff like that, uh, you get to a point where it's just not, you know, it's not. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, more silver. This is the last silver trip. So after this trip, we're going to jump back in the boat with all our silver. And we are going to... Uh, it's in the chest, right? We are going to hopefully <coughs> find some iron. Then we're making the oven and everything else we need. The iron's going to be a big score. A good silver vein. I must tell you, my boat trips have actually been pretty good recently. I mean, Zadana, were you here when I slew the serpent from the back of the raft? Like, that went well. It's been going okay. Put the belt on. Gonna go AFK again? I mean, I will. If it has to happen. Did I really just clear this one out? I don't think so. There we go. Oh yeah, holy shit, there's a lot. I must say, like, I always enjoy the exploration of the swamps a little bit more so than the mountain exploration. I like the mountains, but the swamps, they honestly feel really good uh, because of the crypts. Like, you have this, like, this, this... Firstly, the, the sense of discovery, you can't beat it. And then you have this, this dice roll every time with the chests and potentially scoring, like, big from the chests. It's really nice. I much prefer it to this. Even though I bet you can probably score big in these mountains as well by, like, potentially finding a tower or something or, like, a little hut or whatever with a, um, with a, uh, a stack of, of silver in. But, like, it's still not the same, really. The muckshake is amazing, by the way.
Dude, I don't know how I'm gonna find the Plains Victors here, like... Oh, yeah. I'm gonna explore. I'm gonna ride a Lox today, by, by, by heading back to the... I mean, jeez, I've got it in the title, I gotta do it. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna head back to the Plains. I'm gonna... Hopefully have our, our Loxes tamed. And I'm going to uh, use the locks to get around quickly and find what I'm looking for. Hopefully. I don't know if it's gonna work like that. But, yeah. Is Nero around today? He's right here, I can see him. He's right there, I can see him. Yes? Usually he goes and sits in the other side of the house when he has to protect the house my parents aren't here. Uh, but recently he's been sort of confident enough in, in, well, everything. Comfortable enough in everything that he just chills with us. I think he, he really values his comfort nowadays. Our office here is nice and warm compared to the rest of the house when it's a cold day. Because it's pretty cold outside right now. And uh, he also likes hearing me and he likes Helene's right here right uh, now as well. And like everything just makes him happy. So he stays. My god. Yeah, we got a lot. Tell him his nose should pant, his lips should curl, his cheeks should flame, and his brow should fill. His bosom should heave, and his heart should glow. And his fist be ever ready for a knockdown blow. Huh. I mean, I wish I could say that's what Nero's fights with other dogs went like. <laughs> it's none of that. I mean, it's, it's some of that. It's some of that. That would lessen him. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. That's a beautiful little poem about how dogs should fight. I mean, you know what? Actually, I feel like he has most of that going for him when he's on the, on the right side of the fence. And for him, the right side of the fence is the wrong side of the fence. The opposite side of the fence. He's happy to be nice and far away from whoever it is he's getting angry with. And then he puts on a real show. Okay, we're done. I have more than enough silver now. For at least one more bow upgrade. And... I suppose, what else? I don't know. I, don't, uh, I mean, I've got enough stone down there. Let's go. It's time. This was a good silver run, yeah, and it was quick as well. We're out of here now, and we've got everything we need. So, like, oh, honesty? Yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I'm going to make the cart quickly. Twenty wood. Is there another one? And a wolf? I can't hit the shit. Okay, he's coming back. I'll get him now. God damn it! I fell down. Okay, no more excuses. Not quite as satisfying as seeing the trees get chopped down in New World, but it's pretty close. New World really is more satisfying. You know, I, I think that New World also has the uh, the sound of the tree falling, nailed down. Like, uh, that's actually one thing that's like, I don't want to say underrated, but like, you don't realize how much of an impact that makes. The The sound of the of the tree, like, just whoosh into the ground. Uh, it's It's definitely something that 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 makes it more satisfying in this game the tree sort of silently falls there's a little bit of a sound but it's not quite as noisy 
And um, in New World, it's got like this... Oof, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Again, not really going to make me play New World, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, it is quite nice. Yo, have I tried Little Nightmares? I've played them both, I think. Have I played them both? I think I've played them both. I finished Little Nightmares, yeah. Oh, have I played them both? I'm not sure. No, I played the first one. Yeah. Good game. Little, Might Little, Nightmares, Little Nightmares is a good game, man. I enjoy it. It's good. Terraria, most satisfying tree chop. Eh, it's alright. Am I going to play the second? Maybe. I want to tell you something about Little Nightmares, though. Those games are so damn expensive. Like, the first one was, was priced the same as, like, a, a, a double to triple A title here in South, in, in South Africa for me. Uh, I don't know why. And the second one is, is, is nearing triple A pricing. I don't know, man. I don't know why. I can't believe I've done this. Terraria is pretty good as well for tree sounds, you're right. I don't know why they're so expensive, man. I don't get it. I'm sure I could shop around. Like, I could probably get a decent deal on GMG if I wanted it badly. <clears throat> but uh, I'm not desperate for it right now. Back then, it's just what turned me... What put me off of it was that... Okay, okay. This is just not working. Can I take some of this for myself? Then the cart will move. Yeah, dude. See, it's as simple as that. I carry some of it myself, and then the cart moves. Are you serious? Why is it so hard? Why do I have to chop my way down here? Every step of the way. There we go. Gotcha. Smooth ride. Easy does it. God, it looks great. Dude. When the snowstorm blows through the meadows, it looks fantastic. This is why societies and mountainous terrains don't develop the wheel. Indeed. Indeed. This is a good showing of that. Right here. Did the cart smash a, a wolf or something? No, no. It just did a tumble. I turned too sharply. God damn. Dude, this neck. Never gonna die, huh? Wow! There's a whole colony of them over there. Let's not, not let this go into the water. Okay. 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 Carrying too much? Sure. Into the boat! I'm only going to put the useful stuff in here. I'll leave the other stuff behind. Don't test me. This was a good silver run. I didn't expect to get this much. Silver was right. I, I think I overextended a little bit here. No, come back! Funny thing, silver being right about the silver run. Hmm. I just sank. It would be a waste leaving the stones here, so I bring them. Oh, I gotta bring the cart too. And the portal.
Stop. I'm going to go through the portal first. Yes, I know. <laughs> oh, bring what through the portal? The, the stone? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to take most of the stuff through... You're right, you're right, you're right. I'm glad you actually said that. I might have missed it. Left the bronze nails. I'm going to fetch them now. I'm, I, I want to take them back. I mean, I want to... Sorry, I want to keep them with me. That's what I wanted to say. There's such a cool new anime this season. One cool new anime. What is it? Let's hear it. I'm still like... I'm, I haven't even started on this season of anime yet, man. Like, legit. I haven't even started yet. I'd love to start watching this stuff, but I'm just not getting around to it, so... Uh, ranking of Kings? That's interesting. Like, that sounds good. What is it? I mean, okay, if you can condense it into, like, few words, I'll ask what it is. It's unusual. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Wait, do I need to repair over here too, or...? Right, there's peace. I can I can sleep quickly, then go back through. It's about a deaf and mute kid. First in line to the throne, and no one believes in him. Oh! Okay. Art style's amazing. It sounds like it could be a little depressing. But, I mean, that's obviously the kind of shows that, like, really... I mean, uh What was depressing recently? That one with the... That one with the boy who could see the ghosts. Who worked with that idiot... Um, you know the show. That ca that was kind of sad at times. That was kind of sad at times. My last Valheim stream is going to be depressing. I mean... Oh, you said my last Valheim stream was depressing. What? <laughs> it's not of course. Don't say of course. Okay, let's go. It's time. Am I Lumen number 75? What does that mean? Why are you putting a number there? Hello? I'm Lumen number one. Don't let the others say anything. Died 75 times. I think I've died more than 75 times. No, actually, maybe not. Ah, wait, wait, wait. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of a tough one to, to sort of put a number on now. I mean, let's, let's consult the map. I don't see any skulls on the map for deaths. So, yeah. I mean, I guess I'm okay. Yeah. I have died zero times. Thanks, Sam. True faith. Alright, so where do we think the next big swamp is going to be? I'm not going back there. I'm thinking over here. I'm thinking straight ahead. A little to the side. There we go. That's a boom, boom, boom. We done. Is that 75? Oh, I see. Right here. Yes. I should put I should put a word in there like subs or subscribers or I should. Oh, what I can do is 
I can put a goal in. I'll make it 75 out of... What's my goal? How many subs do I want? 999. Yep. Yeah. That's what that is. That is the number of subs we have. <clears throat> I don't... I don't petition people to subscribe to the channel. I don't mention the whole, you know, you can subscribe with Twitch Prime thing all that often. Uh, what's the goal reward? Satisfaction. A sense of accomplishment. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a reward yet. I, have, I, have, I, just, I just thought it up right now. I guess we'll see. You might sub if the channel points did something cool. I, I was talking about the narrator stuff uh, before. I'm trying to think of how to implement it properly, but that might be coming soon. <sighs> Other stuff. I don't know what to do. I'm like, I'm honestly, I've racked my brain with that nonsense. I'll put in a, a channel point that can be a reward can be redeemed. I'll give you a compliment if you pay channel points. I'll give you a compliment. There you go. You pay me points, I compliment you. Or any one of your choosing. <clears throat> that sounds good. Steal from good streamers? Good streamers don't have good rewards either. Some smaller streamers have, have like, decent stuff. Uh, some smaller streamers have interesting stuff. But most people... Yeah. Uh, honestly, the Neurocam thing is great, but I can't afford a new webcam. I don't want to buy a new webcam. Like, I don't know. It's when I do get another webcam one day, I will put this one on Euro 24/7, and you'll be able to watch that cam with the press of a button. <clears throat> I was also considering putting a cam out facing out the window. The same cam could swivel out the window and point down into the garden. Then, whenever something interesting is happening down there, you could just look at it, because because that's kind of nice as well. New phone would be suitable. Well, I'm not going to plug my phone in every time I I uh, want to stream something. Plus, then I need, like, uh, to buy... It's actually cheaper than buying a new uh, a new cam. Because you'd have to buy a, a... I don't want to see... I don't want the turtle. I don't want the turtle. <clears throat> if you want to do the phone thing, you need to buy, like, some weird connector things that, that attach phones to your PC. And it's, like, a, it's a waste as well. This is crazy. Where's the swamp? This is just like open ocean here. And the wind has turned. Good God. Okay, we're going to the side now. What? The Apple cable would never be able to stream a video. Apple phones are so... What? The charging cable? Can I use that? Are you serious? To just... Use the camera on the phone? I don't know if that's how it works. Maybe Android does it like that, but I don't think Apple does it like that. Does it? I, I can look into it. I can look into it. Chances are if I, if I like get a new phone, I'll give this current one that I have, which I have actually no idea where it is, to Lillian. Not give give, but like she'd use it for her phone games when she plays. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. I must say my webcams, like lighting and stuff, isn't really great. It's, it doesn't do low light very well, and it uh, it definitely won't do highlight that well either. Glorious Google says you need to just be on Wi-Fi, which already will be. I am on Wi-Fi with my phone, yeah. <clears throat> Is that all I need? You sure? I, I can look into it, for sure, yeah. I mean, I know streamers that, that actually have Wi-Fi connections to their phones, and they walk around with it connected to the stream. And that's sort of an interesting idea, I guess. I don't know.
This is crazy. Where's the swamp? That looks like a swamp. Elgato has a free app for that. I don't know. Usually Elgato costs, but not for the software. The other stuff costs. The, the hardware. They have a cam link uh, piece of hardware that, that, uh, like, that links you your, well, your cam to your PC and makes things easy. That's another meadow. <clears throat> this is crazy. How am I not finding the swamp? Anyway, it's not really something I've looked into, I'll be honest. No, if they bring me a new phone, then I probably will end up uh, instead just using it to do vlogs and stuff more. More vlogs, more videos regularly, uh, and and that would be cool. Yeah, yeah, that's that's already a nice start. But and that, there's some swamp here. Here we go. Here we go. Gotcha. And that would be fine. Uh, but I mean, I don't know about Twitch stuff. Hasnert, yo, what's up? I'm assuming she's sad because Dave left. Nice to see you. I hope you're having a good weekend. Other than the fact that Dave left. Yo, for Mabel Cam, use a baby cam that cost you 20 pounds. I'll look what the cams cost. I'll have a look. But thanks. Hey, Lily. What up? Yo, yo, yo. I, I, uh... I, that's a good idea, I guess. Problem I have here is that lighting varies so much that it might be difficult for me to, to do it with a shitty cam. <coughs> we don't have baby cams. We never had a baby cam. We only have a monitor. We still only have a monitor. Sam, thanks for wasting your points, man. Fine work there, gentlemen. You could eat another bite. You know, fine. I guess let's dance. Hey, I'm, I'm actually in agreement with Silver. You haven't really missed anything good today. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm in the swamp now. I'm here. I'm here. I'm not even going to do the wishbone. I'd actually prefer to find a crypt if I can. Let's see if we can make that happen. There aren't even any locks in the swamp. I'll show you. This is... I can't believe it. This is not the swamp I'm looking for. This is like a little sliver of swamp. I'm gonna bet you right now that there's not gonna be any crypt in here. Crap. Watch out. This is where we die. We won't die. We won't die. Oftentimes they come in slivers. Oh, I didn't know. I mean, I've now, I'm, I'm leg legit not going to stay here because there's just not, there's nothing here. Nothing here. I'll take this guck here, though. I'm going to leave now. Oh my god. Dude, these leeches. How many are there? Holy shit, man.
But has nerds, yeah. I'm sorry to hear it, huh? What up? Nice to see you. I'm gonna go around. Hopefully we'll find something. Kind of hope I drop off the edge of what? The map? That would be horrible. I'm gonna sail through here. This is looking like the way. Well, I would like to see what the edge of the map looks like, seeing that I've now been told that this is a flat earth. That does, in fact, make it more interesting to me. Definitely. Do it? I'm nowhere near the edge yet. I'd find the secret biomes too. Yeah, but I don't need those now. I need I need iron. I'm not afraid. It's just that would be even more of a waste. I need I I really really need my my oven. Like, what am I doing if I don't have an oven? What am I doing? I'm not making bread. That's a fact. Ooh, anyone who hasn't seen Alien yet, you should check it out. Oh my god, Deathcore, you should watch it. Dude, 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 dude. The Alien movies... Oof. Those are, those are good movies. Game over, man. We're doing Alien quotes? Oh! <laughs> now I see. No. No, I'm sorry. I was just, I was just, you know, just saying it's a good movie. Uh, need to turn. I'm gonna go back that way. Aliens, yes, yes. Gibbity. Yo. I'm gonna go around the edge of this continent over here, this island. Why is it so hard? I realized that down here I'd probably be able to find a whole bunch, but like, I don't want to go all the way down. I mean, I, I'm now at this point, I'm like close enough to be going all the way down there, but like, come on. <clears throat> Still. Still. Oh, did the wind just shift? Hmm. I think that the map is is really much more so balanced for the final product that they haven't released yet But it's also more so balanced for 10 people or 15 people or whatever the hell like I don't know man I don't know I don't know how many people the game can take but like it, it feels like it's not a solo size. No, I Mean do you maybe think that they should allow you to to choose your size of your map like you do in maybe RimWorld or whatever 30% 50% 100% This is when I should do stories not when I'm mining. Yeah, I know But like I think they should honestly increase the uh, The the options in in map generation so like they should give you a map like that's this big But then like all the stuff on the edges would be much closer uh, you'd, You basically have everything more accessible uh, You know that would be kind of cool. I'm nowhere near the edge. No, no. What? Like, jeez, man. Like, I, I, I haven't... That, that distance that I've explored, even if I add that onto here, I'm still not going to get to the edge. It's, it's an insane distance from here. Like, an actual insane distance. 
It's crazy how far it is. Did you guys hear yesterday that the waves used to damage you? That's kind of scary. I don't know what the devs did, man. A pact with a demon or a devil of some sort? I don't know. It's crazy impressive. Like, it's insane. I'm hoping I'm sailing right into a swamp here, but I don't think I am. I think this is all just black forest. There is way too much black forest in this game. That's a meadow. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go again. Pretty close to the end of the south part. Oh. Yeah, I mean, sure, sure. That's pretty close. That's kind of cool. Wow. Is that the night sky of the game? I wonder if I keep scrolling like this if I'm going to find some secret here. Nope. Oh, shit. To be fair, I did give up. Part way. Oh, did this... Dude, the wind just shifted. Come on. This does not bode well. This was like the first release of No Man's Sky. Yeah. Yeah, motor, now it would be useful, yes. I could go back and get it. But it, 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 it seems like a bit of a waste of time. Then again, this seems like more of a waste of time. Yeah, maybe I should go back and get it. I mean, I can just make the portal here, run through the portal, but then I have to run back. Oh, shit, look where I am. Dude, okay, okay. I could even just deliver the iron now. This does not bode well. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I, maybe I'll just deliver the iron right now. Oh, my God. Because if I just run straight across here... If I just go straight across here... I break the boat down over there, put it all in the cart, and run the cart home. That's pretty quick and easy. Then at least I got the silver back at home. Then I can go on a swamp run separately. It's gonna be a trick? What? Where? My home is here. This is kind of close. I could even get some tin as I land. Because I need some tin to make the bronze. Did I li really just get one guck from that guck sack? Wow. Because that also allows me to run past the stones and turn on the uh, motor buff. Yep, yep, yep. Is that maybe swamp over there? 
Uh, it doesn't look like it. I'll get some tin quickly. Yeah, why not? I mean, with the silver we have now, we can at least uh, upgrade my bow, maybe even twice. There should even be two upgrades, like, if, if, it, if there are even two. I don't know what... Uh, it's currently level three. There might only be one more upgrade. Oh, there's a massive ravine here somewhere, here. So I'm gonna have to go this way. Is there only one more upgrade? Well, I'd love to have my bow max level, finally. This is probably gonna be the heaviest cart I've ever pulled, so I wonder if it's even gonna work. You know what? No. I mean, yes, I'm going to get the, the tin quickly, but no, I don't think I need to go back home now because the wind just shifted and it's going to take us down, so. Are, are they being serious right now? Okay. God damn it. Do any of them go above 4 quality? Dude, tin is so easy to farm. Like, what the hell? <clears throat> this is like, it's such a stark contrast to all the others. Like, 4, 4... <laughs> what the shit? Fifteen. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, the tin is just to make the bronze. I don't need much bronze. I think I got enough now. This is more than I need already. I'm done. That's it. One stack is enough. <clears throat> it's just for the bronze. And I don't, I don't need a lot of bronze anyway. As it stands, I just need a little bit. That's like, that's quick and easy. Like, that's like, wow. Nicely done. Maybe there's a swamp right here, because this is bone mass, and bone mass should be in a big swamp. And if I can finish in bone mass's swamp and then take the river back up to our base, that would be sick. Okay, here we go. Am I sure I'm gonna have enough space in the boat? Yeah! What is- it's only like... Yeah! Oh my god! What? Easy! I just need iron still. It's gonna be a real pain like schlepping this all back to the base but like <clears throat> if I can go with the boat through the river again that would be great
Like, I firmly believe the bone mass swamp must be big, right? I don't recall seeing anything interesting in the bone mass swamp when I was there, but, like, it should be big. Although, like, I see there's the black forest, so, like, mmm. Yo, Jizzle Mooster, what up, what up, what up? Hello. I should change the title. I don't know if I'm going to get to ride a locks. I'm clickbaiting hard. It's got a question mark, so I guess I kind of... I can't, I'm kind of okay, you know? I will go check on the Loxes, for sure, yeah. I mean, how do you, you... You said you can see their tame bars, right? Last time I checked, they just got angry with me, so they obviously weren't far enough along. We're getting very lucky with the wind tonight. You speed motor, not even joking, one arrow left, got interrupted by Stone Girl and Midway as well, survived on 4 HP. If you died, you would have uninstalled. <laughs> I feel the same way sometimes about uninstalling. That sounds like it was epic, man. Congratulations, well done. Like, legit, well done. That's, that's, that's no small feat, dude. Need to be close enough to see the tame meter. I will do that. Okay, I'll jump in the pit and see what they say. Like, honestly, they should be tame now. You feel the same with Apex? Dude, sometimes you just die in, like, the most bullshit way in Apex. I, I hear you right there. But I must say, like, recently Apex has also just had a lot of... All the games have had a lot of cheaters. I don't know why, but, like, they're just... They're coming out of the woodwork now. And if it's not cheaters, it's, like, it's like annoying teammates or like it's just people you don't want to be playing with. I don't know man games are just they're just annoying nowadays maybe I am just have a lower tolerance but like yeah okay so this is kind of weird I'm going to the bone mass swamp right now the wind just shifted as I turn towards where I need to go the wind shifts are they serious with this shit? There we go. We're fine. We're fine. I see the swamp. There we go. There we go. There's no portal at bone mass anymore, no. I took that with. But I have a portal right here on the boat, so... I, I should probably have left the portal at Bone Mass, but back then when I beat Bone Mass, that was still like sort of... Uh, not, I'm not gonna say a rare commodity, but like... Yeah. A portal? <laughs> yeah. Look, uh, if I had to sail around to there and land where, where I initially landed, like here or here, I think it was here, it would have probably been better. Uh, oh, this is a big swamp. Here we go. Here we go. This is better. This is it. This is it. Definitely gonna find what I'm looking for here. Alright? Oh, hey, we wet. What do you know? Swamp Boys delivers. Leeches are here already. Here we go. There's a crypt right here. Crazy.
Oh shit. I need to bring the portal mats out. It's fine, we're good to go, man. Uh, portal, boom, boom, boom. to go out. One sec. No, he doesn't. Never mind. I heard something else. It was not Nero. <clears throat> okay. Let's make this portal clear. He's passed out. He doesn't want to go anywhere. Swamp. I need to go and reconnect it again. This is such a slip. Portal on the roof is big brain. Oh, that would actually be really smart. You're right. I'll do that. Hold on. Your sister sent you a text of her Strava. And she'd just done an ultra marathon today. What's a Strava? Tracking human exercise. Oh. A running app or whatever. Or is it for, is for cycling? I just logged in on the same character. Okay. Hold on, I'm being a fool. That's all the exercise you nerds use it, really? To track their times and distances and routes. Really? I have never heard of that. That's weird. Okay. My uh, The whole of South Africa just uses Fitbits. That's South Africa's thing. I don't know. It's Fitbits. I don't know what the software is that goes with that, but that's all I ever see. Fitbit. It's the bike software? Okay. Okay, and and how far did she go and what kind of pace did she set? She was never sporty now. She's doing ultra marathons. You can change Helene was never sporty and she managed to run 25 minutes for uh, Six hours 50 kilometers. That's insane. Oh uh, She did she did what did she do? Oh, a 5k in, in whatever, 20 minutes or I don't know how much it was. But anyway, she did an impressive 5k for her time. It was, she was happy with it and whatever. Um, and she, she started off being largely in her, in her youth, at least largely, uh, low activity, you know, she, they, when I met her, she was not sporty in any way. She turned it around. No, she didn't. She never weighed little. She was she was larger. It was like she she when when we met she was not um, skinny and and uh, sporty and uh, well into her exercise and whatever. She's changed a lot. There have been many iterations of Helene over the years. I'm very proud of her because of all of it. It's been very impressive, is what I should say rather. Walking on egg. No, she's not in the room anymore. <laughs> she's gone. She's gone. Nah, dude. Dude, when I met her, the um, the, the she she never they never ate any green vegetables. She wouldn't eat broccoli. She wouldn't eat green beans. She wouldn't eat. It's just, it's like she was a different person now. It's like the most important thing to her to eat healthy and and stay healthy and be you know It's like it's been a flip It's it's like 
you you would be honestly surprised and shocked by how much things have changed. I'm trying to find a place to put this this um, <clears throat> shit that I picked up here, but I see I have no sp these these can, can go in here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Well, and, and I don't mind talking about... Oh, here it is. I see now. I'll talk about that stuff in front of her. I think I do anyway, so... Am I a reverse architect? What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Put some barley in the windmill? Nah, I've got enough. I mean, I might, I might want to, but I've got enough. Yo, Wobringer, I'll get larger chests. Probably when hell freezes over. It means I'm just terrible, but Zidana's too nice. I don't think that's what Zidana is trying to get at. She's trying to call me terrible, no. But she might be saying... <clears throat> I, I understand what Silva is saying. But, um... No. I very much just encouraged and helped her get to where she wanted to be and she might not have had the courage and or means to do it alone i don't think anyone really okay it's actually untrue i know how the world is nowadays and it's possible but i would say like most people they don't sit there thinking to themselves i want to be unhealthy i i want to uh you know be this way or that way you know oftentimes people are very much willing to to give it a go to change for the better to to uh, i don't know make the best of this uh life that they've been given have i been spaghetti my whole life yeah i was when i was a teenager i was a little bit heavier but i wasn't i was never really i was never i, I would never have classified myself as overweight or anything like that really That's when I just sat in, in indoors and land 24-7. So. And when I was in my 20s, I was obviously the fittest that I was, I guess. I guess. I was in, my, in the best condition, I suppose, I should rather say, of my life. Not that I'm in bad condition now, I just, you know. I just don't really exercise regularly. I was never a crossfitter. I don't like crossfit, no. But I, I used to run a lot. And I used to do weights. I did, because Helene uh, speci specifically did like lots of... Oh my god, that's such a huge find. She, Helene specifically did lots of um, heavy lifting. So I did the same power lifting stuff that she did. And uh, I did lo running on the side. And it was fine. It was fine. It worked for me. Dad bods are in. Yo. Have I ever drunk the Kool-Aid? What is the Kool-Aid? You mean protein shake? Do you have a video of Helene squatting 100 kilograms? I don't think she squat 100. I think she did 80. Or 85. Or, or maybe 90. I don't know. She might have did just under 100. I'm not sure exactly what numbers we're looking at for her squatting. But she did a lot. I remember when she was doing her... Um, when she was doing her, her heavy lifting, she was very skinny. She was like 45 kilograms or something. Oops. I mean, it was all muscle, but <laughs> it still wasn't very much. She was very, very small. You wish you could run without pain? Helene has, I think, officially given up on running now because she's had a lot of issues over the past couple of weeks and months. Um, and she's been to some physios and been to some doctors and yeah I carried her towel and spotted her I did yes I did spot her um, yeah Akkadian Helene is is done with running now as well she had uh, a, a thing recently uh, I can't remember what it's called the pelvis thing, which is really bad and apparently also quite common. Um, but lots of pain, lots of uncomfort. 
discomfort, sorry. I was gonna say uncomfortability. What are ZA gyms like? Very good. Very good. South African gyms, in general, the standard is pretty high. Uh, and in general, in general. And there's also a decent selection in most places. Overall, I'd say very good, yeah. I don't know if they're full of weapons grade meatheads. No, I, I actually honestly believe that there's a, a nice mix in South Africa. You have the 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 Reuters and the meatheads and the and the uh, the the gym rats who who literally live there and and you know day and night pushing the iron or whatever you want to call it. But you also have people who are just there for health reasons. Lots of like larger people who are actually there just to like turn their lives around. Then you have a lot of people. Uh, older people who are just there because you know they need to keep moving and like there's a good mix there's a good mix and then there are also some kids who are sort of south africa's big on sports um you know my boat is two feet away i'm lazy south africa's big on sports so there are lots of kids who want to play rugby lots of kids who want to be fit for the whatever sport they're practicing uh yeah it's good i mean south africa even though that the small town south africa and a lot of south africa is like overweight and unhealthy, a, a large portion of the country is also doing all right, you know? I don't know. I have been pretty lucky that I haven't really had a hard time getting back into exercise uh, over the years. I don't really lose a lot of fitness or, or muscles or whatever if I, if I take breaks. Uh, but, man, if I just had some time... That would be the ultimate, is having a little bit of time to fit some gym in or exercise in. Lily's trying to clip Mabel's nails and you can hear her shouting from the other room. One toe, one toe. It sounds like Lillian. That's how Eileen that's how Eileen deals with Lillian. It's like impossible. You have to distract her with something really interesting like on the TV or whatever. I think the last time we got to clip Lillian's nails was like a week and a half ago and uh, my mom put some cutest animals nonsense on Netflix and Lillian was just enthralled by it. It encapsulated her very everything and she was just like 100% transfixed on it. She didn't even realize her nails were being clipped. Try that with Mabel. Put a video of another porcupine on. Maybe. Uh, I'm sorry. Another hedgehog. Or maybe show her the porcupines. Maybe she wants to see what the other side of the road looks like, you know? I'm not getting enough iron here. This is just not working for me. You distract me with food. Okay. I mean, that works too, right? Having children in the modern world, you really have to dance around their feelings, don't you? Yeah. No, I mean... Look, what it comes down to is you don't want a full tier of, like, 100% uh, meltdown on your hands. And, like, it, it, it's like you, you don't dance around the feelings so much as you value your own time. And, and like, man, a meltdown over clipping nails, totally not worth it, dude. Like, you pick your battles. That's what it comes down to. And I'm not going to fight a battle over damn toenails, okay? Just saying. There are certain battles that I will pick. Uh, and, and, you know, certain hills that I will die on where that shit's concerned. But toenails and... Well, distracting a kid with a, with a funny video or whatever. Uh, you know what? That's fine. I got invited to a um, a meetup with the other parents from the school today, but I couldn't go. Uh, I, I, it would have been, and then I got invited for beers and and um, pizzas tonight. Obviously, I couldn't go to that either because uh, we have to be here with a with watch the house and I'm streaming and stuff. But like, <laughs> what the hell, man? So, so one of the parents made a group, and um, they they sort of sending out these invites at all. Do they know me? I mean, I see the parents at the school, and uh, uh, about 
three of the other parents there we actually knew before uh, because they went to baby group with us. So the baby group kids that were with Lillian in baby group all transitioned to the Montessori school. So they're all in the same class with her. Uh, so I know them from, from picking up Lillian at school every day. I see them every day. But like earlier today at lunchtime, I had a memorial to go to and then we had uh, um, we, we have, well, we have people in the flat here tonight, which were also at the memorial. They're friends of my, uh, uh, well, not friends, family of my of my sister. And um, we, we have to be here for them because we had to give them the keys and stuff. Uh, so I couldn't go for that anyway. Oh, do you don't get free schooling in this country? No, no, no. Well, I mean, maybe some parts of the country, uh, I want to say the lesser privileged parts of the country do get free school in but she goes to she's currently going to an expensive school <laughs> she's she's going to a, a very nice school uh, my father has he put aside some money and the the money that is coming from that money is paying for Lillian schooling at the moment and it's very generous of him uh, there's no way I could afford that school no way I don't think I even earn enough in a month to pay for uh, the the school fees with all the money that I earn in a month. It's not that expensive. I just don't earn very much. <laughs> I mean, geez. That's, like, that's what I'm saying, basically. She isn't in high school, though, and I'm, I'm very thankful to my parents every day because of it. I'll pay them back one day. How much are we making here? I've got 30 now and I'm still not over. It's good. Pay them back with channel points? Yeah! Yeah! They don't want my channel points, it's useless. I am currently full time. I'm doing YouTube as well. Uh, I, I must tell you, I have been. Uh, many times disheartened over the years uh, but I don't know I might maybe I'm onto something and I can make it work with current uh, plans but I don't know we'll see it's it's a we'll see situation you know it's a we'll see situation I don't know man I don't think we have free schooling no I don't think so I'm with deathcore on this this place is big Pay them back by not putting them in the home when they're old and grouchy. Hmm. What's the school plan after Montessori? No, it goes all the way through to matric, actually. Uh, so she can actually stay there to matriculate. She can stay there uh, for whatever amount of time it takes. Uh, but I will say that, um, regardless of that, I will say that... Uh, it is possible, obviously, that we might not be here. We, I mean, listen, Deathcore can attest to the fact that in South Africa, we are always a couple of months away from having to move out of necessity. <laughs> I, I mean, it's like, I, you know, it's not really as drastic as that, but like, uh, you, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen in this country. Uh, you don't know what's going to happen in a year or two's time. You don't know shit. No one knows shit. Uh, this place is a... Uh, ooh, you know, you don't know. You don't know. We don't know. No one knows. Uh, so we'll we'll see. We'll see. What's matric? What grade? Uh, max grade twelve. Whatever. Max. Uh, it goes to the max edge, <laughs> the highest grade. Even though they they matriculants, there's very few. Nelson Mandela's vision failed off. The oh yeah, dude. No, holy shit. Uh, the legacy has been tarnished. It's done. 18 years old. Yes, there you go. 18 years. I finished my schooling at 17 in homeschooling, but... Uh, um, and I think you can actually even do that in Montessori as well, because they use a very different curriculum with their stuff. 
Uh, it, but, but, um, I, like I know for a fact, uh, two different kids that my sister knows, they've matriculated at 17 in Montessori as well. Uh, you can sort of move faster through their schooling if you, if you work well and, and efficiently, which is just, it goes to show how flawed the original or the standard systems are. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. And my parents sending them to a home when they're old. Uh, listen, I, my, my parents have already seen to that. They are not going to be, um going to a home <laughs> if I'm not mistaken they just b looked at two to three different uh, waterfront flats this past week and they have already it seems like they've decided on one that they want um, they are not staying in a home <laughs> my father you don't know my father they will not go to a home But yeah, I need to start uh, earning some proper money just in case anyway. Which I'm I'm trying to, like, they are, I have different ideas, I have different, you know, but we'll see how it goes. Ashton, Ash wasn't homeschooled. Ash, you weren't homeschooled, legit, right? Or were you? Hold on. I just want to make sure I, I'm getting the, the gist of this here. Or is, is he just teasing here? I never know with Silver. Okay, this is the biggest uh, swamp crypt I've seen. I should have gotten the rested thing. It's funny though, like, unfortunately, <clears throat> well, fortunately, I should say, uh, it's not, it wouldn't, like, because of the, the current Rand dollar exchange rate situation, I, on Twitch specifically, I really, it's, it's sad because I don't, I don't really need much, and, and I think a lot of South Africans would, would attest to, you don't need much, uh, to survive if you're getting paid in dollars, because a, a lot less goes a lot more, a longer way at least. Uh, but yeah, the the regional pricing changes have have sort of put a damper on things a little bit. Unfortunately, we'll see how it goes in the in the next little bit, I guess. I'm gonna have to just keep an eye on it and see what changes. This has been profitable. Wow. I can build a fire in here for rested. Yeah, I know. Do I have the materials? How's monster in ZA? Uh, it doesn't have a good reputation in Germany. It somehow works out in the end, you think, but regular schools seem to offer better education, if you can call it that. Yeah, it's the exact opposite here, Wobringer. So what happens in South Africa is the regular schools have basically got underpaid staff, teachers who don't care, uh, broken systems, dangerous conditions, uh, and, and, and basically zero respect for the actual work that they do. Uh, whereas the private schools, Almost all the private schools are just superior. They are just better. Uh, and and you will be better off if you can afford it in every way, shape or form. Uh, it's definitely just better. You can't really compare. There are some schools, specifically here where we live, Nisna Primary School. Uh, the, the school in town here has a fantastic reputation. Apparently it's a great school. Uh, so if you, and it's cheaper. It's cheaper as well. So if you want good options, you have to shop around for specific towns with good public schools. But yeah, that's like, again, that's um, a case-by-case -case basis. However, Montessori here is awesome. My kids have been going, my, my sister, my, my ch Lillian's there now. My sister's kids have been going to Montessori for their whole lives already. They are uh, 10 and 12 or 9 and 11 or I don't know, something like that. Uh, and they have grown up to be smart, they are uh, kind-hearted, and they, they have level heads. They know what they, they know the world, at least. They, they sort of understand <coughs> things. Uh, it's good. It's like, you know, it's just, you, I, I, know, I know, when I, when I speak to a kid, I, I have spoken to enough kids in my life to, to understand 
if a, if a child has it or not. <laughs> and they, they do. They're fine. They're good. Uh, they've done well. What games are they into? Uh, Harper doesn't really... She plays because Oren plays. Uh, Oren is current... Oh, actually, no. They both played some crap on the tablet called Brawl Stars. I don't know what that's all about. It's like a MOBA slash brawler. Um, but Oren plays Minecraft a lot. He plays Minecraft Dungeons. He... Um, what else does he have? He, he has started, like, sort of dabbling on his father's PlayStation uh, 4. And I'm not trapped now. I know where the exit is. I'm just trying to make sure I got everything. I think I've cleared it. Yeah, we're done. This is, it's a very, it's a, it's like a, a very good layout. This was a nice crypt. We're done. I'm just going to check through here one more time. Uh, but, I mean, gaming-wise, he's definitely into games. And he's been steered away from Fortnite and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm proud of that. I'm proud of my sister for that. But yeah, he, he does Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons. He's got one of the Lego games, I think, which is called Lego Worlds. Very, very like reasonable gaming choices that my sister has allowed. Um, she policed it quite heavily, obviously. But yeah. She was a teacher herself and she like sort of looked into all the games and stuff and she asked me about it and I told her that he can play Fortnite if he wants to, but to be honest, I said to her, listen, Minecraft is actually a, a pretty good choice. Like, you, you could do much worse than Minecraft. It's, it's a creative game. Uh, it's, a, it's not too violent. It's a good outlet. It's just decent. Yeah, it's decent. I know how the syllabus works. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I think the, the, the teaching and the method, the methodology, I guess, behind the teaching is the biggest difference between Montessori and, and government schools. Uh, but the biggest thing, I think, is also just that kids work on their own time. They choose what they want to do. Uh, and they, there's another swamp crypt here. They choose what they want to do. and they And they just get, like assigned work for the week and they work at it at their own pace i know that that oren has a habit of finishing his work a day early and then he spends the last day of his week uh, whichever it ends up being um literally just socializing at school he goes to school to socialize on fridays which i'm like okay man like sure whatever whatever i mean he does the stuff that he has to do like he some they have some things that they have to do but like for the most part he just goes to school to socialize i was like i was just kind of weirded out by that at first but it makes more sense because what apparently what happens is you like let them foster a, a, a better relationship with work they take pride in their work they also work with much more efficiency uh, if you if you present it to them in a way that that can actually reward them instead of punish them, social people are weird. Yeah, I know. I know. You have a wide range of private schools as well. Some very expensive, like boarding schools. Montessori is on the lower end. Yeah, I don't know if Montessori is equal in all countries, but here it's just one of the better private schools. It's a private school and it's better. Um, the, the, the entire Montessori thing here is great as well. They do offer boarding services. They offer meals with the schools. The teachers are so nice. I met with all of them. You can see what, what, like, uh, um, what uh, they've studied themselves, like their, um, their own, what do you call it? I'm, I'm blanking on the word now. Their accomplishments, their, their, what do you call their word? Their, uh, any, what, what the teachers, uh, God, what is, what is it called? How do I even, anyway, um, regardless, the problem is that they get paid reasonably well at Montessori and they get paid a pittance in the public schools. And because of that, the public school teachers, they don't have a chance. They don't have a chance. The t public school teachers just don't. Like, they, they have miserable working conditions, they have shitty, uh, basically, I would say shitty everything, but they have shitty um, pay uh, uh, accompanied with shitty, uh, like, let's just say, requirements, and, and that ends up making public schools, for the most part, miserable places. I don't know. I don't know. Unload her on Montessori litter back every other weekend. Yeah, listen. 
she's her mother's daughter but no it's it's even though i i i really don't all that much enjoy driving the 12 minutes at 13 minutes it takes to get to school every day we're not going to do that if i make more money one day i will let her have meals at school yeah if i let her if i make more money one day i'll let her because that's a social thing i think that's really good for for a child as well if she gets to sit like you know in the cafeteria and 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 choose the food there get something different and new every day that would be fantastic for her it's a learning and and growing experience that she can sort of just uh, expand on all the time and, and and she'll have fun with it but um that costs a lot as well yeah yeah she takes her lunch she go takes her own lunch yes but it'd be fun for her to get something new every day ba 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 what up yo nice to see you And, oh my god, Helene packs the most amazing lunches in for her. She comes home sometimes raving about how great the lunch and it's usually like the nice little special snacks and stuff Helene packs in. Like, uh, just the other day, I, um, I actually, I, I bought some, this is the first time I see one of these during the day. I bought a Paw Patrol, like not a chocolate a uh, little like a, like a dried fruit bar i would say i bought a, a dried fruit bar and uh, she oh she couldn't stop going on about it she couldn't stop going on about she loved that shit like oh it made her day hope i get the trophy thanks i just did <laughs> wow no i didn't wait Ah, oh, no. Wait? Yes? No? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I've slain enough of these guys. I should get the trophy soon. When you have a good bow and some decent arrows, these things just really aren't all that powerful anymore. Like, they're not really scary anymore. It's, yeah. It's weird. Yo, I'm glad to hear everything's good. What are we doing in the game? We actually just finished our runs. So, I was doing a... I wasn't locks riding. Oh, my God. I Like, I didn't get around to... The, I'm going to check on the locks now, but I didn't get to ride them. So, uh, we, we did a, a, a silver run and an iron run, and it's nice. Oh, the trophy sinks to the ground. Oh. The narrator is always right. In this case, the narrator was right, yes. So it's, it sinks like the scales. Okay, okay. Damn. Well, then I'll make a mission of trying to get that next time. Well, sometime. I didn't bring my, my harpoon with, so... <sighs> Damn. But, like, this is a good haul, dude. Oh, we also got the tin. So, like, I got, I got 90. I got, I got 90, 90. A bunch of this, a bunch of that. It's like, wow, dude, this is like a really good haul. Although I'm going to be smelting this for the next six weeks. It's whatever, it's still good. It's nice. I'm glad. My parents are just leaving the country now, apparently. Dude, we had some serious rain. We don't change clocks in South Africa now. I actually have a video here on WhatsApp. Hold on. Can I save it? How do you save videos from WhatsApp? I hate this program so much. I got it, don't worry. Yo, if I get if I have iron left over, I could make an iron at gear. Oh, I wouldn't waste the iron on that. I'd use the black metal for it. The wind just shifted unfavorably for us. Hold on. Are you serious right now? There. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think the whole changing of the clocks thing is just ridiculous. They should work on some weird global time and 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 just make it a thing. But I mean, I don't know. I get I get daylight savings time. It's in the name, you know. They want to give you extra daylight hours. I have a boss power for that. I keep forgetting to put it on. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you quickly while I'm sailing. How much rain we had. I don't think this video is going to show it properly, though. Why is it over here? Oh, yeah, that's a terrible video. That's a terrible video. That quality is like... Dude, WhatsApp butchers the video completely. Where's the sound? Okay, whatever. Yeah. Holy crap. I didn't think it would kill the quality like that. The pool looks cool. It's nice. Yeah. So it, it originally, it came uh, like uh, when it when when we when we moved in here, it didn't have the deck around it. That's your favorite weather. It's nice weather, yeah. But not when it's so windy, dude. Um, originally, it didn't have the deck around it. My father had them build the deck around there. Now it's much nicer. Now you can actually sort of, you know chill by the pool before it was just that round hole in the ground um the dogs don't go in it no nero does on the top step uh he he's the only one but let me tell you uh, my parents dogs they, they're weird like they're weird man when my parents aren't here they never do anything outside like they just don't uh, they, they don't use the go like Nero. He uses the garden. He's out there. He's out there. He's out there. He's everywhere in the garden. He's just busy, 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 busy. My parents' dogs are sort of like muffin on the damn couch the whole time. They're just like chilling in there. They're stinking up the bedroom. Um, but Nero, he, he likes exploring the different corners of the garden. He likes spending time out there. He likes just, you know, being one with nature. And uh, the other dogs just don't do that. And it's the same for the pool. They just, they, they don't, they don't. Wind does make most weather bad. You can go to university in daylight for a few weeks longer. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, listen. I think daylight saving time is important, especially in the countries where... I, I read about it, actually. My, my mother was talking about it the other day, where... The, the northern countries have high rates of depression because it's dark most of the year. I get it. It sucks. It sucks. Yo, Storm Sky. Nice to see you. You know, you don't realize it, but like the sun is kind of important, man. I'm so glad we got that sea serpent. We have so much sea serpent meat. I hope you're doing well, Storm Sky. Hmm. The wind shifted. Nice. You go to the uni in the dark for three months and go home in the dark. Daylight savings time does nothing, yeah. Well, for some people it does something at least, I think. But, like, it, it, is, it is a pain. Like, I agree that it's not really the most useful thing in the world. I mean, again, lucky we don't have it here. I, I also think that the whole world should be on the same time. And they should just base it on something universal. And then they should... You sh just, dude, what the shit, man? Like, get, you can just get used to the fact that sometimes you will be working in what is technically the middle of the night, but for you, it's the middle of the day. You know, daytime can just be where the sun is. It's exactly like, as Ash says. Like, it's 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 silly, but, like, it, mo it would work better. Hey, do add-on slash updates for Valum come with initial price that cost extra? Oh, well, bring it. Dude, everything's been free so far. You just buy the game and you're good to go.
It's only because your brains have been programmed to work in a certain way. Oh, you know, midnight, 12 a.m. or whatever is, is, is the middle of the night. It's not, you know? I don't know. It's, it's a ridiculous idea. I'm sailing full... No, let's go half-mast. I'm going half-mast in here. And yeah, it's still early access, so they can't charge for DLC yet. Oh, dude, we got a storm! That's perfect! With the river swelling like this, it's going to be so much easier. Wake up, sheeple! Yes! It's time to change the way the clocks work. Thank you, Ash. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. This is literally... This is insane. Dude, this is the fastest I've ever gone through here. Insane. Look at this. Dude, oh my god. <laughs> I actually feel like a real Viking. Like, this is... This is good. Can I make this corner, though? This is like... This is where the true test comes in. Oh, shit. Ah! Come on. Yes, dude. Ah... That'll buff right out. Don't worry about it. We're here. Shit, man. We made it. We're home. No, there's a rock. No, come on. That was good. We made it. We're home. We're against the wind now. But, but we're home. Hell yes, man. There's the Meadows music. We're gonna see... We're gonna see our place. Just... Just... You know, crest in yonder hill in a moment. There it is. There it is. The ravens on the rooftop. Oh my god. That was, that was insane. Best time I've ever made through that river, man. You want more hours in a day so you can actually sleep the same day you woke up? <laughs> Yeah, okay. This was good. This was actually really good. Holy crap. You are carrying too much. By how much? Insane. Here we are. What does the oven cost? Iron 15. Screw it. Check on the locks. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do. Oh, we have extra wood here. Okay. You don't need more hours, you just need more energy. I need more hours in my day. Dude, if I can get 30 hour days, I think I'd be doing alright. Legit, I just need, I just need like 6 more hours so I could actually sleep. Oh, I forgot to load this off. Shit. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, M cart. I can just do a cart, you're right. <clears throat> that makes sense, yeah. I don't know why I didn't just think of that now. I have the materials. They're on the, they're on the boat there. I mean, there is a cart right here, but I think it's full. gonna be a heavy cart yeah 
Yep. Let's go. Wait. Ah, uh, shit. Put this in here. If someone somehow extends the days by five hours, companies would expect us to work for four of them. Yeah, I know. I know, you wouldn't catch a break where that's concerned. Is this guy actually doing this to me right now? I need wood. I just, I got the wood and then I threw it away. No! Is the boat moving? Okay, there we go. That is so much better. That, that is going to be the heaviest cart. I want to just quickly break the boat. Dude, wait, did I get all of it? I did, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Oh, shit. As, as long as I can pull it up this hill, I'm fine. Yeah, it's working. That's really heavy. I just want to get that... Um, the feathers there. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> Ash. Good luck, man. Thank you for being here, as always. Yo. Go well. See, these chests shouldn't be here. Then I'd be able to go all the way through. That was good, though. It's close enough. I'll, I'll leave it there for now. Am I actually really full up? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make a boat chest quickly. I will, I will probably have to move this at some point, but... <clears throat> I'm just going to put it here for now. Literally just going to put the boat in here.
Okay, I'm gonna go check on the locks quickly. Yeah, I'm putting the iron in this melter now. Okay, we're gonna have a look. <laughs> Dude, I know the chest shouldn't be there. I know, I need to get rid of them, I know that. Facts. I will, I will. Uh... Okay, portal will be going to... Oh my god! I didn't break down the swamp portal, so I need to actually just put this on a sign here somewhere. So that I don't forget. Why is it not visible on the sign? The sign's broken. Weird. Wrong way around. Oh shit, thanks! I didn't know! <laughs> That's a real- that dude, oh my god. Thanks! Thanks. <laughs> uh. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's embarrassing. Sign facing the wrong way is pretty embarrassing. Okay, let's see. How do I know? How do I know what's going on here? They're still humping, dude. Eighty-eighty-two percent tameness. Okay. Let's get in there, let's get in there. It's good shit. So tomorrow's the day. Oh, I've got 50 here. Just stay near them? Yeah, I'm not gonna do it now. As much as I want to. Dude, I, I can't believe I haven't done anything here yet. I should finish this. Oof. 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 No, I mean, I have to be nearby for them to get tamer, you know? So it's not just like that. It doesn't just happen, you know? Uh, so I, I, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I should correct this, by the way. Before I lose it. What a small enclosure. Well, when they tame, I will open it up and I'll give them all the space in the world. I'll make them a beautiful spot. They'll love it. When the time comes.
It's true. <laughs> it's true. The neighborhood man needs to come and come, come and speak to me about the locks treatment because it's not good. I know, I know, I know. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh no. This is bigger than I thought. I'm gonna have to move the pots and pans. Okay, that's on top there. Oh, it's not too big. Where do you guys think I should put this? On the left or on the right? I see there's a chimney hole. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll put it in the middle. And then I need to get quickly the, the materials that fell down here. Sick, dude. What do I bake now? Bread for the poor. Oh my god, you could put it on the side. Not that it's necessary, but... Wow, that's cozy. That's kind of sick. I really like that. Okay. Liv, you think you need the cauldron upgrades to make ingredients for the oven? Yeah. Bread is expensive in the afterlife. I mean, yeah, I, but I have, I'm ready for that. Look here. I'm ready. I have enough. I should make the spice rack too. Yeah, yeah, I will make the spice rack. I will do that. I'll, move, I'll put it here, like right there. Or the here, or there, or up here at the top. There. Do I have the butcher's table? What? There's a butcher's table? Oh yeah, it's over here. It's, it's there, it's there. Oh, it might not be close enough anymore. I need to move it over there. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! Ice cream, wolf jerky, wolf... What was that? Oh my god, the rain is... is... actually killing the fire there. Huh. Okay. 